Today we're talking about knotting, and here are some great ideas for embellishing chain with fibers. One thing you can do is braid it. It's really easy. Take a look at these steps that I have here. All I've done is taken a, and attached a toggle ring to the end of a piece of chain. Then I tied an overhand knot with three different colors so you can really see the braid. Of course, you could do the same color and that would look pretty too. So you'll just start out by braiding and you take, as, as you normally would with a braid, you just do over, under, over, under. So I'll bring this one over and then the next one is going to go through the chain. So you just wanna pass your third strand through a link on the chain and you can see there it's green, blue, yellow. So that helps you define the pattern too. So I kind of twist those fibers together and I'm just using embroidery floss, but you could use any type of fiber because of course this season we're talking about different fibers being in the spotlight. So you pass those through and what's easy about this project is you don't even need a needle. You could use a big eye needle if you wanted to or a folded piece of wire to make it really easy, um, but I like that you could do this on the go because it is so simple. So you can see the braiding pattern just starting to develop there. I'll show you the next one. So now you would bring your green over the center and then bring your yellow over and then your blue through the next link. So you just wanna make sure that you're repeating that pattern. Now this is easier with chain that has larger links. So you could of course get really tiny, but this is a cable chain. So it makes it really simple to braid along the edge. And I think it really adds a lot of fun flair. And I'll show you some ideas for how you could use this when we get there. So next I wanna show you how to attach two chains together. And if you take a look at the necklace on the stand, this one will show you the two chains have the suede through the center there. And those are wrapped through each link that are parallel. And to get started, all you do is take two chains and fold a piece of suede through, that, through parallel links. So you'll go just through and take your suede. It works really well with suede because it's a flat kind of cording and then you'll pull this through both links. And then to attach this at each end, all you have to do is either you can tie it in an overhand knot or you can just fold the end of the suede over and glue it when you get to the end of your chain. But you can see how that either, you can leave it twisted for a little bit of a texture effect or you can straighten it out and keep it flat and that makes it really nice and even too. And I think this is just a fun way, again, to create a really interesting foundation for your necklace or bracelet. And on this piece, this is really super simple. All you do is take some organza ribbon and tie an overhand knot at the end of your chain. Then you're going to pass it through every other link. So it doesn't matter if it twists a little bit, but you do wanna make sure that you cut your ribbon to a sharp point so that you can get it through the links. And again, if you use a larger link chain, it make, really makes it simple and it gives it a really fun embellishment. It's an easy way to add some color to your piece. And so you just weave it back and forth, and then when you reach the other end, again, you're going to tie an overhand knot, and you can just add a drop of jeweler cement to make sure that it's nice and secure. Now let me show you some fun things that you can do with this type of embellished chain. This charm bracelet is an example using that organza ribbon again and bringing the color into the chain, and just bringing that color out through the beaded dangles and drops and using some charms. These are some other examples here of things that, ways that you can add fibers to chain. Again, adding some flair at your wrist, and this makes it really fun to create a lot of different stacking bracelets. Weaving back and forth through the links, skipping every other like I just showed you, or also braiding onto the chain, and you can see with some gold chain or gold fibers in there, that adds some fun flair. And of course, I showed you some really simple techniques for how to do this, but these chains come pre-embellished too, so you can create really easy, fun, and stylish jewelry. Oh,